Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, Oilers, loose again to the Vancouver Canucks. This time it wasn't so bad. This time we got three goals. Unfortunately, they got four. Again, the defensive dependents on this team are very independent. And we'll dive into that as we go along. Yes, Vancouver had a game plan. They stuck to the game plan. They filled their game plan to a T. If the Oilers' game plan was to outscore the defensive deceptions, well, it did not work for the second time in, what, four nights? Three nights? It just didn't work. I'll be glad to see no more Vancouver. It's not that they're a good team or a better team than the Oilers. It's just... They're quick and they capitalized. And they capitalized on the Oiler mistakes. Unfortunately, a 2 on 0 is a huge glaring mistake. Unfortunately, having Nurse... Sorry, CC. I, I don't know. They're, it's early. They're trying to learn a new defensive system. It, it, it's two games in. I'm not going to say, oh, panic, 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 panic. It's over, it's over, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. No, I am saying it sucks to be down 0-2 in the standings. It sucks that Vancouver is up 2-0, especially when they beat us twice. But it's not the end of the world, Oilers fans. The day does get better. First goal scored by the Oilers, Leon Dreisaitl, 42 seconds into the game. Hoorah, hoorah, hoorah. Why am I saying hoorah, hoorah, hoorah? Well, because not only was it an assist for Ryan Nugent Hopkins and Zach Hyman, but it is assist number four, four, four hundred. Congratulations to Ryan Nugent Hopkins on career assist 400. Shout to the Hilltops. He's there, he's there, he's there. Well, that was the good for that section of the period. Now we're going to get to the bad and the little bit ugly. Vancouver gets a power play. Guys, it happens. Teams get power plays. Don't do dumb shit. You won't go to the box. Because Metso... Because Metzko scores on a tip. That's. Scores on a tip. Shot from point. Traffic in net. Tip in goal. Why can't the Oilers do that? No. Because the Oilers power play would rather pass it around the perimeter. Bouchard to McDavid, McDavid a dry saddle, one T shot, goes in 7 out of 10 times, 5 out of 10 times right now, not good enough. We need more shots from different people named McDavid and dry saddle. You look at the power play for the Oilers, who shot all the shots? McDavid and dry saddle. Not good enough. Hopkins got one, but I think he took one shot on the power play. It's just not good enough. The Oilers' power play is not good enough. Canucks again, again on an even strength goal. This time tipped in by number 21. And I believe that was... Hoglander. Make it 2-1 Vancouver. Going into the first intermission. They're up 2. They're feeling good. They're feeling fine. They're all working on the Oilers' dime. Second period starts, we get another power play. McDavid, as said, as always, if you need a goal, count on McDavid to do it for you. And he did. Power play unassisted, 2-2. Two, two. We're looking fine. We're looking good. Not even a minute. Maybe a minute, two minutes later. Vancouver, 2 on 0. Oh. Mm. 2 on fucking 0. Oh. Wow, that was fucking dumb, wasn't it? I 
can't even sugarcoat that shit. And that's where I'm going to put CC and Nurse. And the forward group, I can't remember who was on the ice with them, but I don't remember. And I'm mad that I don't remember who was on the ice. I just know that it was CC and Nurse. Just a heads up if you're a defenseman and you're a defenseman for the Oilers. If you see three forwards and they're all below the hash marks, they don't have either A, the wherewithal, B, the speed, or C, the smarts to realize that you're pinching. And oh my fucking God, both defense pinched. Who the fuck is playing defense? I, I, I get CC pinched. I, I get that part. Keeping the zone, keeping the puck down low, that, that, that doesn't bother me. But when 2-5 sees that number 5 is in front of him and he's already pinched to the hash marks, if not a little lower than the circle, you should not, cannot, will not, do not pinch yourself and, oh, fuck. Kid gets his first goal of the career. Too easy. Too fucking easy. It's 3-2 Vancouver, and yet again, the Oilers are struggling. Can't blame Skinner. Can't blame anybody with those five guys on the ice. Somebody's got to watch out what the fuck is going on. Somebody needs to learn how to play some defense. Never fear, never fear. We got another good game going on. Hopkins saves the day with the assist going to Bouchard McDavid. On the power play yet again. Because, hey, the Oilers had seven of them. Seven. Seven mother power plays. Scored on two of them. Vancouver had three. They scored on one. So, hey, we improved. Our PK got better. Seven power plays. Move on to the third period. Tie the score 3-3. Three, three. We're looking good. We're thinking, hey, we might actually win this one. We might actually come out on top this time. No, 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 no. Bad pass, and I hate that I'm calling, I'm not even calling out Brown. It was just, it was a mental lapse in judgment to give it to the point instead of put it down deep. The announcers are saying it jumped over his stick. I don't see it that way. I see he was trying to make a play. He was rushed. It wasn't the right play. It sucks that Ekholm is still coming back. Obviously, his hip flexor is still kind of bothering him a little bit. His speed isn't quite there. Full credit to full credit is due, though. Lafferty outworked and out-hustled Ekholm on that. Sucks. It happens. We can't get mad. We honestly can't get mad at the, as Oiler fans about going down 0-2. It's not the end of the world. We're down. One good streak of winning. Tally together three wins. You got six points. You're 3-2. and two. Tally together four wins. Eight points. You're four and two. You're probably sitting first in the division. But not on this night. Oilers lose four to three to the Vancouver Canucks. Credit where credit is due. Vancouver showed up in these two minigame series. Showed up and showed out. They they did what they had to do. They're playing a fine system over there. Remember the Oilers are learning a new system. Not an excuse. This team needs to play better team defense. This team needs to learn how to score on power plays. This passing stuff is not working. Shots, 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 shots. We've said it for the last two years. This team needs to shoot more on the power play. Bouchard, just let your clap bomb go. For the love of God, when you shoot the puck in the middle of the net, not five feet high, ten feet wide, and a little bit of bulletproof. Dude, you need to learn uh, aiming. Aiming, like this is stuff that's taught in Bantam. Aim where you want the shot to go. Don't just close your eyes and clap it and hope to God it finds something. We're not Fulton Reed out there, folks. Shots were 40 for the Oilers, 16 for Vancouver. Yeah, I didn't stutter. Shots were 40 to 16. Oh, and Demko didn't even play. DeSmith did. DeSmith made 37 saves. 
Six in the first period, 16 in the second period, and 14 in the third. How did Skinner do? Five saves in the first, five saves in the second, two saves in the third. Because he only faced three shots in the third period. <sighs> like I said, I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I'm not blaming anybody. I'm not pushing the panic button. The world is not ending. The sky is not falling. The Oilers play Tuesday in Nashville. Hopefully getting on the road and playing a team not named the Vancouver Canucks will spark something in this club. That's it. That's all I got. It's said, pretty, sweet, simple, to the point. Congratulations again, Nugent Hopkins, your 400th career assist. All with the Edmonton Oilers. You are an Oiler legend, despite not having any playoff success. You're going to go down as one of the greatest Oilers of all time, in my humble opinion. Everybody, thank you for watching. My name is Matt for Oilers After Dark. We lost. Oilers lost. And Oilers fans love it. Well, sorry. Oilers haters who are not fans love it. They love the fact that we are 0-2. And they will remind us for the next four or three days. Sunday, Monday, two. Yeah, next three days. How bad we are. They'll tell us that we suck. Just remember, it doesn't matter how you start in October. It's how you end in May. That's it. Just have a good night. We will see you on Tuesday. Always be kind to your fellow man. Like, it's a terrible world out there. Let's use hockey as a distraction. No matter how bad it gets for the Oilers, it can honestly be worse elsewhere. That's it, guys. Have a good night.